What's going on everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and today we talk about Safari and how you can remove it from your iPhone. You probably noticed that when you hold down on it, you can move it around and you can remove it from the home screen, but you don't have the button to delete it from your iPhone. That's because it is technically not possible, but I'm going to show you a way to make it disappear altogether. Essentially, you're going to have to use some restrictive measures, which are native to iOS, but you need to set them, up, set them up separately. So open up the settings app on your iPhone and scroll down until you find the screen time section. Inside there, when you tap on it, you might have it set up already. If not, just follow the instructions to get it working. But then what I want you to click on and scroll down a little bit is the button called content and privacy restrictions. Inside of there, you can manage which apps are allowed and which websites can be visited and stuff like that. So it's very useful. So once you are inside, you can see different things. So just turn on the toggle at the top, but inside of there, you can tap on allowed apps. And inside allowed apps, you'll see a list of several apps, including Safari. And to remove Safari, just toggle off the switch, make it gray from the green so you disable it. And this will remove Safari from your home screen or the entire iPhone. No matter if you go to the app library or just the home screen, you will not be able to find a Safari web browser, which has its downsides, of course, but this is probably what you want to achieve with this, with this, uh, these steps, of course. However, you might only want to restrict specific websites rather than disabling Safari entirely, and you can do that too. Navigate to the store and web or something like that is still within uh, the content and privacy restrictions and a tap there on the web content. Here you can manage which websites are accessible, either by limiting certain sites or allowing specific ones, choosing restricted mode or like customizing it the way that you want. Also, another option is the app limits feature which if you come back to the main section of the screen time in your settings, you can find the app limits. And as the name suggests, you can set up daily limits for using different apps. You can block any of them. So just add new limit for Safari, find it in the list of the apps and choose how long during the day the app is allowed to be used. After the time's up, the screen is gonna be like blocked and it will require a passcode, which is different from the passcode to unlock your iPhone. This is the screen time passcode, as you know. So you can essentially just block the usage of Safari on that device. So this is essentially all that there is to know about it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Fox Tech, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.